As we're all aware, artificial intelligence has undoubtedly become the most prominent and transformative industry of the year. Among the companies benefiting from this AI boom, NVIDIA stands out, having consistently captured the lion's share of the spotlight. NVIDIA's stock price has been making headlines, reaching new all-time highs nearly every month. After a slight dip last month, it appears NVIDIA is once again climbing. But could NVIDIA stock be on the verge of setting a fresh all-time high this month? If you've been following the stock closely, you already understand the immense growth NVIDIA has experienced as a company. Their CEO has been confident, claiming they've developed a revolutionary product that could potentially become the most successful product in history. This begs the question, could NVIDIA still be one of those millionaire maker stocks to buy right now? In today's video, I'll aim to break down what we can expect from NVIDIA in the coming months and even years. We'll look at both the short-term and long-term outlooks for the company. There's a lot to unpack in this video, so I'll try to keep this introduction brief. Before we dive into the details, I want to take a moment to thank everyone who reached out to me over the past few weeks. These are my first videos after over a month of absence, due to some personal unforeseen circumstances, so I truly appreciate all of your messages and support. I plan to release a few more videos over the weekend, so stay tuned for those. As always, if you find any value in this video, I'd be grateful if you could smash that like button. It costs you absolutely nothing, but helps the channel tremendously. My goal for this video is to hit 500 likes, and with your support, I'm confident we can reach that milestone. And for anyone new, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any upcoming content like this. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, and this video should not be considered financial advice. Always make sure to do your own research and due diligence. We'll tackle some of the big questions later in the video, but for now, let's dive right in. First off, it's important to recognize that the global AI market is projected to hit a staggering $1.81 trillion by the year 2030. Many consider this to be the dawn of the digital revolution. Some of the biggest tech giants, including Amazon, Google, Apple, Facebook, IBM, and Microsoft, are pouring vast resources into AI research and development. However, the reality is that one company stands head and shoulders above the rest in this AI race. And that company is none other than NVIDIA Corporation, ticker symbol NVDA. NVIDIA is one of the world's leading manufacturers of microchips, and it's particularly renowned for its significant contributions to the fields of graphics and gaming. NVIDIA's chips and the accompanying software power the fastest and most high-resolution graphics available. These products cater to a wide range of users across various markets. In addition to gaming, NVIDIA's microchips are widely used in visualization, data centers, AI, and autonomous vehicles, just to name a few. Although NVIDIA has become a household name over the past two years, primarily due to its explosive growth of over 1,000% in less than 24 months, it's essential to understand that this is a well-established company. NVIDIA was originally founded in 1993 with the vision of developing chips for the rapidly growing gaming and entertainment sectors, which emerged from the rise of personal computing and the internet. At the time, fewer than 30 independent companies were focused on graphics chips. Then, in 1999, NVIDIA changed the course of computing history by inventing the GPU, this invention not only transformed the graphical capabilities of computers, but also paved the way for advancements in accelerated computing and artificial intelligence. NVIDIA also held its initial public offering, IPO, in that same groundbreaking year. Fast forward to today, and NVIDIA has evolved from its original focus on gaming into a company that offers graphics-based computing and networking solutions across multiple regions including the United States, Taiwan, and China. While gaming remains a core component of NVIDIA's business, it's the company's developments in AI that have propelled it to unprecedented success, making NVIDIA the largest company in the world by market capitalization in 2024. By looking at their latest investor presentations, we can observe the incredible revenue growth NVIDIA has achieved. 
The demand for their products has skyrocketed across every business segment, including data centers, gaming, professional visualization, and automotive industries. And the company hasn't slowed down. They've made several massive announcements over the last quarter, which I'll discuss later in the video. If you haven't done so yet, help the channel by hitting that like button. And remember, I'll be reviewing the charts later on in the video. So be sure to stick around for that. There are two enormous reasons why buying NVIDIA stock before 2025 could be a wise decision. NVIDIA stock has experienced significant volatility over the past five months, with the stock price swinging wildly. It's reached as high as $140, but has also dropped below $100 on two separate occasions in August and September. These fluctuations are substantial and should not be overlooked. To put it in perspective, it's astonishing for a company's market valuation to lose and then regain close to $1 trillion in a matter of days. Consider Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway, one of the top 10 largest companies globally, which has grown steadily over decades to be valued at around $1 trillion. When Nvidia's stock price fluctuates like this, it's as if the market is wiping out and then restoring an entire Berkshire Hathaway size valuation in just a few weeks. That's wild. However, it's entirely possible. We'll see Nvidia reclaim its upward momentum, delivering another outstanding year in 2025. The first reason this could happen is straightforward. Nvidia is set to ship even more AI chips next year. Industry analysts are projecting a significant increase in Nvidia's shipments of AI GPUs in 2025. According to market research firm Trendforce, NVIDIA could see a 55% increase in AI GPU shipments, driven by the rollout of their next-generation Blackwell processors. Analysts estimate that Blackwell processors will account for 80% of NVIDIA's AI GPU shipments next year, while their hopper chips will also remain strong throughout 2025. One key challenge NVIDIA has faced recently is that demand for their products has far exceeded supply, and I'll touch more on that shortly. However, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, is reportedly planning to double its advanced packaging capacity, which would allow them to manufacture more AIGPUS. TSMC expects its annual production growth to reach 60% through 2026. Meanwhile, Allied Market Research has projected that sales of AI chips could grow by 38% annually through 2032 resulting in $384 billion in revenue. NVIDIA remains the dominant player in the AI chip market, with a market share that hovers around 95%. All of this positions NVIDIA exceptionally well to capitalize on the skyrocketing demand for AI chips. However, it's important to note that while NVIDIA holds a massive portion of the market share due to the unparalleled speed of its chips, they are also among the most expensive available. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang has explained that despite their high price, NVIDIA's chips can save customers time and improve workflow efficiency, ultimately leading to lower total cost of ownership over time. In the long run, NVIDIA's chips may actually provide the best value for money. As I mentioned earlier, NVIDIA has faced difficulties in meeting the massive demand for its chips. Oracle co-founder Larry Ellison and Tesla CEO Elon Musk have both said they begged NVIDIA to sell them more chips, but NVIDIA simply hasn't been able to keep up. However, with TSMC ramping up production capacity in 2025 and the launch of the Blackwell processor, NVIDIA may finally be able to meet that demand, which could lead to a massive surge in revenue over the coming years. Just look at NVIDIA's revenue growth since the launch of the Hopper chip two years ago. Quarterly revenues have increased by 400%, and the launch of Blackwell could drive similar growth. As AI GPU sales continue to rise, NVIDIA is expected to see strong revenue growth in the next fiscal year. Their pricing power in the market should also help boost their bottom line. For the current fiscal year, NVIDIA's revenue is projected to be $125 billion with an EPS of 2.78. For the next fiscal year, NVIDIA is expected to generate $176 billion in revenue, with an EPS of 3.92.
This represents an over 40% increase in revenue and a more than 41% increase in EPS. If you'd like me to conduct a full financial analysis and earnings forecast for NVIDIA, let me know by leaving a comment below. My predictions for companies like SoFi Technologies and Palantir have been spot on, where I accurately forecasted revenue, EPS, and growth. You can check out those prediction videos after watching this one. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment if you'd like to see a full NVIDIA earnings prediction video. I'll also dive into the charts later in the video, so make sure you stick around for that. But what are analysts expecting from NVIDIA? Looking at MarketBeat, NVIDIA has a high forecast of $200 and a low forecast of $65, with 39 buy recommendations and zero sell recommendations. The most recent price targets set in the past few weeks range between $150 and $175, which is about 30% upside from the current price. Some may argue that NVIDIA is overvalued at this point, as its current P-E ratio is 63, which is nearly double the NASDAQ 100's average P-E ratio of 32. However, NVIDIA has justified its higher valuation with phenomenal growth. In fact, NVIDIA's current P-E ratio is actually lower than its five-year average of 72. Moreover, NVIDIA's price chart earnings to growth, P-G ratio, stands at just 0.14, indicating that the stock is significantly undervalued given its growth potential. The PEG ratio is a key valuation metric that takes into account a company's future earnings growth. A ratio below one suggests that the stock may be undervalued. This is why now could be the perfect time for investors to buy NVIDIA stock ahead of what could be a major jump in sales of AI chips in 2025, potentially sending the stock even higher. NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang, has stated that the upcoming Blackwell chip could be the most successful product in history. That's a bold statement, but considering that Huang has led NVIDIA to achieve over 300,000% gains since its IPO, I think his words carry some weight. Analysts have labeled Blackwell as one of the most ambitious projects in Silicon Valley. Huang has said that Blackwell is expected to be adopted by every major cloud service provider, server manufacturer, and leading AI company, including Amazon, Google, Meta, Microsoft, OpenAI, and Tesla. But perhaps the most impressive aspect of NVIDIA's business is its dominance in the data center GPU market. In 2023, NVIDIA held an estimated 98% of the market share in this space. While that number is expected to shrink as more competition enters the market, demand is expected to continue outpacing supply for the foreseeable future. When we look at NVIDIA's stock on TradingView, it's clear that the stock remains in an upward trend. Despite a dip last month, NVIDIA's stock is still operating within the boundaries of this trend. What's critical here is that NVIDIA continues to set new higher highs and higher lows, which confirms that the trend remains intact. As you can see, the stock's RSI remains healthy, and a very bullish pattern has been forming in recent weeks. I'm confident that NVIDIA's stock could keep moving upward, at least until earnings season. So, what are your thoughts on NVIDIA? Are you bullish on the stock, or do you believe it has reached its peak? There's always a lot of buzz on social media regarding NVIDIA, but remember to always do your own research. Once again, I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. So make sure you conduct your own analysis before making any decisions. If you enjoyed this breakdown, please like and subscribe. I hope you make a lot of money from this stock. Catch you in the next video.